Okay, in this video lecture, we are going to discuss the returns to scale. When we talk about return to scale, it means that we are talking about the long run production process. So to discuss the uh, return to scale, that is the constant return to scale, the increasing return to scale and the decreasing return, diminishing return to scale, uh, let us clarify certain things. The first condition is, what is this? This is the production plan. All right. This is the production plan and it belongs to the production possibility set. And if this production plan belongs to the production possibility set, it means that we can scale up this production plan. It simply means that we can increase the input bundle to increase the productivity level. Okay. So if this production plan belongs to the production possibility set, then T time Y must also belong to the production possibility set. So this uh, uh, make sure that we can scale up the production, uh, the, the production level. For all T is greater than zero. What is T? T is any scalar. This depends upon the producer. Uh, this, this actually tells you about the level at which you want to increase your production. So this is all about the, the possibility of the increase in production. The second condition is this is the vector of factor inputs. If this is the vector of factor inputs and it is used to produce this much output. And if this vector of factor input belongs to the production, the input requirement set, then we can also scale up the uh, factor. Uh, we can the factor inputs. That is, we can scale up the vector of factor inputs by t because we have to increase. We have to increase the output level. To increase the output level, you have to increase the factor inputs. Since x belong to the input requirement set, then t x must also belong to the input requirement set. So this makes sure the possibility that we can increase the input bundles. We can increase the input bundles. By how much will we increase the input bundle? By t. t can assume any value which is greater than 0 or which is at least equal to 0. If these two conditions are met, then if we uh, scale up the input bundle by T, and as a result, we get the production level increased by the same factor, the same scalar T, for all T is at least equal to zero, then the production is homogeneous of degree one. It means that the rate at which we have increased our input bundle also increase the output level by the same level. It means that the technology is homogeneous of degree one. Okay. And technology of homogeneous degree one simply means that the technology exhibits constant returns to scale. So if these three conditions are met, it means that the constant return to scale technology exists. What about the uh, increasing return to scale? A technology exhibits increasing returns to scale if we scale up, we scale up the input bundle by a factor t, and the result it produces something new, right? And as a result, it produces something. This is the new production level, and if it is greater than if we multiply the initial production level by the same scalar at which we had increased the input bundle. So initial output time scalar, if this multiplication is less than the input bundle time the scalar, and it produces something new. This is a new production level. If it is greater than this one, for all t greater than 1, it means that the technology exhibits increasing returns to scale. In the same way, decreasing returns to scale is the opposite of this. 
A technology exhibits a decreasing return to scale if the new production level after scaling up the factor input by T. It is less than the initial output time the scaler. Then the technology exhibits decreasing return to scale. So this is all about the uh, uh, constant increasing and decreasing returns to scale. Thank you. Thanks for watching.